Hello everyone and I hope you all guys are having a great day. Today in this video I will show how to get Apex Legends from Steam. So I prefer using Google Chrome for this, the browser. So open your browser and hopefully you guys also have a Google Chrome. That will be better. So let's open it. So after opening your browser in the search bar, search for the word Steam, S-T-E-A-M, Steam. Well, we can use Origin as well, uh, but if you're having issues or you want to just go for Steam, then you can just go ahead for the Steam. And yeah, I think Steam is also quite good. So I would encourage you guys to go ahead and use Steam as well. Okay, now click on Welcome to Steam. This Steam store, steampower.com. That's the website. Okay, click on Welcome to Steam. So after that, what you're gonna do is, well, now you can see already like Apex Legends Season 7 play for free now, it's already there. It just released recently on November 3rd, 4. So today's November 5th. So you can know that, that it released yesterday in Steam here. So I'll go over here in the first top, you can, on the top of the website, you can see there is an install Steam button. So click on there. After that, you, you have to click on this blue box thing, which is saying install Steam, click on there. So after that, it installs the, not installs, downloads the Steam, Steam setup. So what you gotta do is click on here. This is just the um, small setup. It will have to download the whole setup now. It will download the whole setup, yep. So after clicking there, you saw I have to click on, um, yes, I think after that, or okay, I forgot, but yeah. After that, this box will pop up. You can minimize the Google Chrome now, or you can directly close it, it should be fine. Okay, we will close the Google Chrome, yep. So after here, now you click on next and then select the language you want to use. I go for English, then install. So after that, it should just install the Steam and in, make sure that the, this box is ticked. By default, it is ticked. So we will finish. So after I clicked on finish, this will run. This will pop up. Well, if it does not pop up, just click here, double click here in the desktop icon. So after that, this will update the Steam. Well, basically it's just installing Steam from uh, like installing its required files after downloading so yep wait for it to finish So now it installed all of its uh, required updates. Now it will show up this box. So in here it, you have to either create a new account or log into an existing account. So if you don't have a Steam account, you have to go click create new account. But if you already have an account, you can just click on log into an existing account and then you can go ahead and log in with your details and all. Uh, people who but for people who don't have a Steam account, they can go ahead with create new account. So I will just show the process a little bit with the create new account. I'm going to click there. So after that, this box will again pop up. So there you have to give, provide your email address and then confirm your email address. And then, uh, well, do the I'm not a robot email address. So you can just say here like, um, well, I'm doing this for the video, so you can just go ahead like, um, well, let's just do something like three at the rate of gmail.com. So you just have to again confirm it here, which is will be again three uh, at gmail.com. And then over here, you have to select a country of residence, which is India for me. And then I'm not a robot. You have to do that captcha thing. So, well, select all images bicycles. Just go ahead and select whichever images you think um, fits the description above, you know, until there are none left. Well, for me, it's a, it might be different. For you guys, it might be different. So that's what I'm saying. And then you are, if you are below 13 years of age, then you ha have to untake this. But if you are um, bigger than 13, years old then you can go ahead and tick that and click on continue oh uh, well yeah and it's saying that um well red box because it's not an email you know uh and it's wrong yeah, i just typed the game all <laughs> my bad 
So yeah, now they are saying, but yeah, let's not do that because those that is not my email. Yep. So for here now, I will. Um, I already have a Steam account, so that was just the how to well open yourself a new account. They will again then ask you for your account name and password. You know, after you set up the email address and all, they will probably ask you to verify it. You can verify the email address by logging inside your email, and then there might be an email asking uh, for you to verify it by clicking in the link in the email. So you can see about that. So now I will just uh, log in into my Steam account. So now I have logged in into my account here, and yeah, this box will pop up. And well, since Apex Legends has just released on the 4th of November and today is 5th of November, so they're like um, showcasing it in their home page. So you can see that the Apex Legends is here in the app. So this is the first page, home page of the app, which will pop up after you have uh, successfully logged in into your Steam app. And well, after a few days for the video, I'm telling this uh, that the Apex Legends might not be there in the home page. So you have to search it from the search box. Then you can go ahead here and click on Apex. Uh, I mean type Apex Legends and after typing few words I think it should already pop up like that so you have just have to click there on the Apex Legends thing and it will just take you to the Apex Legends page of the Steam so this is here so now you have to just click on play game in here you can see play Apex Legends and then there will be a green box on the side that is play game well if you can already see it in the uh, the first home page right then you can just click here in the picture itself and it will directly take you to the Apex Legends home page I mean not home page but the Apex Legends game page and then you can see on the right side play game just click there so after that it will say about the um, required tick space which is 52 and if you want to create a desktop shortcut you should go ahead and click that and then disk space available so this is the disk space available for your disk which hard drive you are using it and estimated download time of your uh, using your download speed so in here you can choose the location where you want to install the game well depending upon in which drive your you have space you have extra space you can go ahead and create the steam library in there or you can choose the steam library if it's already created in there now i will show you how to create a steam library uh, let's say i will just uh, create a steam library on the drive g so i will click there and then this will pop up so what you gotta do is click on new folder all right you have to click on new folder and then it will say steam library click on ok and then there will be a uh, folder here steam library so click in there and then you have to click on select all right when you click on select it will select that um, z steam library folder well right now i'm not going to select that all right so i'll just click here cancel for now but you guys have to click on select and selecting the steam library and then select all right oh, okay now i'm installing it under p steam library because i have enough stick space in there you can see that so then you have to click on next and then you can click on I agree after reading the well privacy and the user agreement um, terms and all I click on I agree oops my bad uh, where was it this is it so now it's saying that it is allocating disk space so this this is now taking uh, this is now like uh, it's taking up the space in your disk uh, reserving it for the game so let it be there and let it finish up so it will show up like this uh, blue bars until it's uh, till here till it's done so after it is done oh well you can see in here downloading so click there and now it is uh, well it is just now for now pre-allocating so after the pre-allocating it will start downloading and after the download has finished uh, you can click in here library all right so in library you can see that in here you can see that apex legends is already installing well you might see lots of games if you have lots of games but if you don't have any games then probably only one will show up which is apex legends so there you go so for now it's saying on the here install and it's saying it's installing here but it's not really installing it's just um what do you say uh occupying the space for the game it will actually download the game again after occupying the space all right so in here you can see there's install so later after all of the downloads are finished and it's installed completely then it will say here in the install it will say play play in a green box so you can go ahead i will show you how it looks it looks like this it will see see like this play play so you can go ahead and click there and click on play and then after that it will run its first time setup it will install all of the directx and vcredits and stuff like that if it is required for the game and it will also ask to probably install origin 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 app because it needs the probably their game needs the origin app 
So you might have to download it through Steam, Steam Locks, if you want to download it, and then you have to download it. And if you already have an Origin account, then you can go ahead and use the account. But if you don't have an Origin account, then go over to your Google Chrome again and type in Origin. Oh, oops, that's not the one. Just type in O R I Z I N Origin. So it will show up the Origin.com website, and in there you have to open a new account. So you can click, go ahead and click on register. On the bottom side left side in here you can see register so after that you have to create your EA account just select your country and region date of birth I have read the uh, user agreement and privacy and cookie policy so after the next and after uh, clicking next it will probably ask you your name and password so you go and set it up all of it and then after that you will have your origin account so after having the origin account it will the steam will ask to log in in the origin separately just uh, so after logging in yeah, uh, this is it for the video I guess so this is how you can uh, well get Apex Legends. Well, if you have any questions regarding it or any other games or, well, the Steam itself, you can, well, how to install Steam. I mean, I was doing that tutorial, right, with this video. So, yeah, um, you can go ahead and ask me in the comment section below. So, this must be it for the video. Uh, I will see you guys in another video in the next time. So, until next time then.